everybody, it's David Newton, your personal sommelier from teachingwineonline.com. I'm standing here with Dan Bailey from Jones Family Vineyards. When we walked into this tasting today, which is not a tasting room, but literally your guest house. Guest house, house right? Hills. Right, so we're keeping it really real in Napa. Um, we noticed that all three of the glasses that were set up in front of us, which I'm going to edit in right at this spot right here. And that were made solely by Heidi, some that were started by Heidi and finished by Thomas, and then our newest release was primed glasses. Right. Yeah. Which were yeah, it's been primed. Uh, which were, it looked like somebody had already sat down and drank out of our glasses. And I preach about conditioning a glass, so I'm actually going to have Dan talk about conditioning a glass. Yeah, off aromas in a glass is a real problem that people usually overlook. What I do is if you keep it in a cabinet, even though it's clean, it'll pick up off aromas. So you should rinse it out with glass. And then when you're tasting wine, what you should do is you should pour a little bit of wine, swirl it in the glass, and then dump the wine out. That's called conditioning or priming the glass. And then pour the wine back into it. The last thing you want to do is use water and leave water in your glass. All that does is dissipate the aromas and weakens the wine. You want to use the wine that you're going to be tasting to clean the glass. Yeah, so you'll see the tasting rooms, they actually give you water to rinse your glass out. And they, I think they've given up. They've simply given up on preaching what should be done and what shouldn't be done with your glass. Condition your glass with the wine that you're about to drink. Join us at teachingwineonline.com. You'll learn more.